Hi, first grade friends. Today we're going to think about time. What do you know about time? What time do you get up in the morning? Think about that. How can you tell what time it is? Well, we tell the time by using clocks. This is an analog or standard clock. We know that because it has hands along with the numbers. And watches. Watches usually have a digital time. Sometimes they can have analog, but you've probably seen this one quite a bit at your house. We know it's digital because it just has the numbers. We measure short periods of time in seconds. To time a race, a special watch is used which measures in seconds. The watch is started when the race starts. The watch is stopped when the winner crosses the finish line. It's called a stopwatch. Seconds are a very short amount of time. How many times can you clap in one second? Try it. Okay, now try 10 seconds. How many letters in the alphabet can you write in 10 seconds? You could try that too. In six, 60 seconds. We measure longer periods of time in minutes. 60 seconds bake a minute. It takes three minutes to boil a hard, to boil an egg. How long does it take you to have breakfast? Maybe you could time yourself. How about lunch? How about supper? Even longer periods of time are measured in hours. The numbers on a clock are the hours. The little hand points to the hours. You always want to look at that one first because the little hand will tell you the hours. So you'll say three and then the big hand points to the minutes. This is closest to o'clock, three o'clock. It took an hour to make these cookies. How many minutes make an hour? That's right, 60 minutes in an hour. How many hours make a day? Well, let's think, there are 12 hours from midday to midnight. There are also 12 hours from midnight to midday. What's the total? Can you do the math? 24 hours. What things do you do every day? Do you brush your teeth every day? I hope so, twice a day at least. Do you feed a pet every day? How many days are there in, the, in a week? That's right, seven. What, do you, what day is it today? Can you find it here? What day was it yesterday? That's right, the day before. What day will it be tomorrow? That's the day after. What things do you do every week? Do you go to the library every week? How many days are there in a month? What is today's date? Do you know how many days there are in a month? There's a poem that you could recite or learn or memorize that will help you remember how many days are in a month. 30 days has September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31 except February, which alone has 28. Well, besides leap year, but that's a whole nother book. Every month, there is a full moon. Months make up years. How many months are there in a year? That's right, 12. What month is it now? When you have a birthday, what does the number of candles on your cake mean? That's right, that's how old you are. Planes run to a schedule. To catch a plane, you need to be at the airport on time or the plane will take off without you. To make toast, bread has to be toasted for the right length of time or else you ruin it. At the end of the day, it's time for bed. What time do you go to bed? Well, whatever time you go to bed, be sure you always read a book, at least once a day. For 20 minutes would be great. Well, that's what we know about time. 